What's up? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the politics and BS. I'm a reporter and I take my job very seriously. So it's a bit difficult for me to even report. That's the leader of the Republican Party in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, giving his closing argument to the American people. Yes, you see what he's doing, and yes, he is doing that. I'll I'll provide a little bit of the context, but there really isn't that much. He is performing, yes, on the microphone. You, you, You see it with your own eyes. So before that happened, Donald Trump was having microphone issues, and so he was saying like, hello, hello, can you hear me? Here, play this clip. Hello? Hello? I don't think so. Hello? Is that better? Is that better? That's terrible. Is that better back there? Is that yes or no? Huh? What crap. The only thing I ask for is a mic. You don't have to give me, I don't even need a stage. I don't give a damn. Give me a good mic. And I went through two of these today. And it knocks the hell out of your throat. But so far, and then so his microphone wasn't really working that well, he said. And he said that his beautiful speech in Madison Square Garden, he called it like a perfect event. And he said the microphone was working well there. Here, play that clip. They don't, they don't get it. Well, the mic at Madison Square Garden worked very well. Was that a great event? But honestly, it was basically the same. The same crowd as you have here, right? Same. And then so he continued to whine about the mic. He said the mic stinks. And then he says he's not going to pay the contractors because he didn't like the mic. Here, play this clip. We've seen that stuff happen. We don't want to do that. Oh, the mic. Yeah, I think the mic stinks. I think it stinks. Crazy. Crazy. Oh, that's what I was wondering what the hell they were shouting. I think this mic stinks, by the way. And then we don't pay the contractor. I say, don't pay the contractor. Then they write a story. Trump doesn't pay his bills. He's a bad guy. And then he told the audience he was going to, quote, knock the hell out of the workers backstage. He's going to knock the hell out of the people backstage who set up the mic and physically assault them, he said. Here, play the clip. Thank you very much. Fix the mic, uh uh-huh. You gotta be kidding. Do you wanna see me knock the hell out of people backstage? You wanna see me? I don't mind if they wanna come up a little forward or something, but it's a pretty stupid situation, but that's okay. I get so angry, I might be seething. I'm seething, I'm working my ass off with this stupid mic. I'm blowing out my left arm, now I'm gonna blow out my right arm, and I'm blowing out my damn throat too, because he's stupid people. So so then, after that happened, he thought it wise to perform oral sex on the air by the microphone. Here, play the clip. Yeah, so as Asharangapa says, how is this man actually a viable candidate for president of the effing United States for the love of God, America? To the rest of the world, we are deeply sorry, and we hope to sort this out soon. Uh, Eli Mastal goes, we are at the dick-sucking part of Trump's closing argument. Wonder what the MAGAs will dress up as now to own the libs. JP, who's a former Trump supporter, says Trump is stroking the microphone and pretending to suck it like a dong on stage at his rally and the MAGA crowd is cheering. That just happened. This is absolutely pathetic. Former Fox buffoon Tucker Carlson, whose own text message revealed in court proceedings includes one about Donald Trump that says he's a demonic force, a destroyer. I hate him passionately. Those were Tucker Carlson's words about the person he pretends to be friends with now, Donald Trump. Let's listen to what Donald Trump had to say. She's a radical war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrels shooting at her, okay? Let's see how she feels about it. 
You know, when the guns are trained on her face. You know, they're all war hawks when they're sitting in Washington in a nice building saying, oh, gee, Will, let's uh, send, uh, let's send 10,000 troops right into the mouth of the enemy. But she's a stupid person. One more instructional point for the kids who are watching their first presidential election. No previous candidate has ever said she's a stupid person about one of their opponents. That's new language for presidential campaigning brought into it by Donald Trump and only Donald Trump. And obviously no previous presidential candidate has ever publicly fantasized about one of his political opponents facing nine guns shooting at her. Here's what Vice President Harris said about that this morning in Wisconsin. He has increased his violent rhetoric, Donald Trump has, about political opponents and in great detail, in great detail, suggested rifles should be trained on former Representative Liz Cheney. This must be disqualifying. Anyone who wants to be president of the United States who uses that kind of violent rhetoric is clearly disqualified and unqualified to be president. Representative Cheney is a true patriot who has shown extraordinary courage in putting country above party. Trump is increasingly, however, someone who considers his political opponents the enemy, is permanently out for revenge, and is increasingly unstable and unhinged. His enemies list has grown longer, his rhetoric has grown more extreme, and he is even less focused than before on the needs and the concerns and the challenges facing the American people. Unstable and unhinged. That's as far as Vice President Harris is willing to go rhetorically. It's also factual. There is no one who can claim that Donald Trump is not unstable. Notice that she did not say stupid. That is not presidential language or language for presidential candidates. I use the word stupid to describe Donald Trump, but I'm not running for president. And stupid is a fact with Donald Trump. He has proved that time and time again. The defenders of Trump spent the day insisting that he did not mean that he wanted to see Liz Cheney executed by a firing squad. But the one person who did not deny that Donald Trump wants to see Liz Cheney executed by a firing squad is Donald Trump. Donald Trump refused to deny his political opponent's interpretation about what he said about Liz Cheney last night. He simply let the accusation stand that he wants to have Liz Cheney executed by a firing squad. And today he added this. If you gave Liz Cheney a gun and put her into battle facing the other side with guns pointing at her, she wouldn't have the courage or the strength or the stamina to even look the enemy in the eye. She wouldn't have. She sits back in Washington. Oh, we ought to go and attack Iran, Iraq. We're going to attack everybody. That's why I broke up with her. All she wanted to do is go to war with everybody. Because she, like Kamala, is a stupid person. Let me tell you something. Donald Trump is absolutely insane, delusional, cannot take defeat, cannot take a loss, never has been able to accept or admit to the L's that he has deservedly received in his lifetime. And I have to give the <laughs> credit to Brett Beyer from Fox News because you know, he interviewed Kamala and Kamala checked him. And I was glad that she did that. But to see Donald Trump sit across from this man and this man checked him to say, you lost the election. You didn't win it. You lost the election. And he still <laughs> was sitting there saying, we won. We won the 2020 election. And we're still gonna prove that we won. I said, this is October 2024, and you are telling me that you all have people that are still working to prove that the election was won by Donald J. Trump in 2020? You have got to be kidding me. But then again, no, I don't believe that he was because it's just like, yeah. That, that actually sounds about right because he can never, never, ever admit to losing. He lost. Get over it. But this is what Mary Trump said was going to happen. He has a problem. And the fact that people think that this man needs to be the leader of the free world, 
and he can't even admit to losing anything ever is crazy. But, you know, over the years as he's been propped up, it's the fault of the people who have propped him up because they've made him feel like a winner when he never really was. I did the commentary about The Apprentice and how The Apprentice was a fraud. It was just a reality show. He wasn't a real legitimate business success. And that show helped to propel him into the presidency. Why do not people speak more about that? I do not know. But yeah, this man went from The Apprentice to the president. He never deserved to be that. But because this country is so starstruck, they are more into entertainment than education. So that's why entertainers are valued more over educators. They're paid a whole lot more than educators ever will be. And that's why you have a lot of stupid people in this country. <laughs> Let's just be honest. This is where we are that they would put someone who was on a freaking TV show whose names are plas whose name is plastered on buildings that he does not even own and I still don't even know why that's a thing but uh yeah they would allow that person to become the president and now you have all of these starstruck people who are so disillusioned to believe that this person needs to be the president because he's a great businessman he was never great at business. He bankrupted a casino. Casinos are meant to do nothing but make money because they always win. Well, that's the way it's usually been when Donald Trump has not been the one running it, right? So I absolutely love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. So you guys, you let me know your thoughts in the comments because when I saw that, I said, this man is so delusional. It just does not get any crazier than that. Well, actually it does. The crazier it gets is the people that vote for him. So check it out and leave your comments in the comment section. And thanks so much for being here. Thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and I'm gonna say bye.